diamonds on my neck I like boarding jets, I like more than sex But nothing in this world that I like more than checks Money All I really wanna see is the Money I don't really need a D, I need the Money All a bad bitch need is the Money I got pants in the coop Bussin' at the roof I got pants in the coop Touch me, I'll shoot Bow, shake a little ass Money. You get a little bag and take it to the store Money. Get a little cash Money. You shake it real fast, you get a little more Money. I got Hey, yo, what up? It's your girl, people reporting live from the DTX, baby. Don't get lost in this drip, you hear? You already know who it is. Queen of the DTX, baby. Don't get it twisted, period. All right, so today is another story time about a roommate that I had in the past. I'm not going to name no names. You already know how that go. It really don't matter because I doubt this person going to see it anyway because, um... This person is blocked on all social media. People that hang around this person is blocked on all social media. So it really don't matter. But for the people who, the other people who isn't blocked, they'll probably know because they who they know who I was roomed with and stuff like that. But um, okay, so let's get this story time started. All right, y'all. I got my hair done and stuff like that. It's cute. It's cute. Okay, so basically, my roommate from hell. All right, so at the beginning, when school first started, everything was cool, everything was popping, everything was good. Then, all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, but it's like stuff started to change. Like, shit just went left. Like, everything was cool. I'm not trying to brag on nothing, but like I have a loving family and we will do anything for people. Like, and that's sometimes that's our problem, right? So we was buying this person stuff and we was just really going hard for her because we knew her circumstances and that wasn't even the reason. Like we just go hard for like she was she was my friend and when I go hard for somebody, my people go hard for them too. So we was buying her stuff and this is where it started, right? So we bought her some shoes. And hell, I didn't even know about the shoes to be honest. My people bought her them shoes. And so I found out about the shoes and they was like, give it to her and stuff like that. And I was like, bet, like bet, like no problem. So I gave her the box and I was like, here we got you something. This is from me and my family, we got you something. She was like, Oh, okay. Meanwhile, when I gave it to her, she was by her desk doing something, but she wasn't really doing much. And please put this in the comments below. When somebody gifts you something or like gives you something, when you open it like right then, you don't wait till later to open some a gift that somebody gave you. You feel me? You kinda open it right then, right? So yeah, like I sit on her desk and she was like, Oh, okay. And that's all she said. It was like, oh, okay. And she turns around. She does what she... She just continued to do what she do. So I was like... I gave her to the end of the day. Because I was like, okay, maybe she's busy. Like, she'll open it by tonight. I leave. Do what I... Whatever I was doing that day. And I come back. It's still sitting there. Meanwhile, fast forward. This gift... Them shoes was sitting in that box. Not open. Unopened. For about a week. Right? About a week just sitting on the desk or she'll move it to the floor, move it out the way when she's doing stuff. For a week. And I even call my people and I'm like, okay, she she ain't even open this junk yet. Like, she ain't even open it yet. And my and then my dad had to never talk about, well, you know, not everybody knows how to handle stuff. And I wasn't even trying to hear that, period. Period. I was not trying to hear that. I'm like, no, when somebody give you something, you open it right then. Be grateful. Be thankful because we ain't have to do that, Period. Like, I was just so mad. And I'm like, how can you start to stick up for this girl? And, like, damn, we, we took the time of our day to care about somebody, and they not even taking that into consideration. I was like, I don't care what you go through. At the end of the day, somebody give you something, be grateful. Open that junk right then. You don't wait till a week later to open a gift somebody gave you. That's rude, period. That's rude. Please tell me. Am I tripping? Am I crazy? And then, 
So it took her about a week to open it. Then we in chapel one day, and she and I, I guess she finally opened it. She came to me. She was like, oh, thank you for the shoes. And she was grateful. I called my people. They talked to her. She thanked them and everything, period. Like, it was the end of that. And I was like, okay, finally she opened the gift. She was grateful after the fact, but it's rude that you. it took you a week to open a gift that we gave you. You know what I'm saying? That, that's rude. So, um... Yeah, so that happened. And then it's like from then, things started going weird. Because like, I didn't really want to hang out with her after that. And I don't know if that was petty. But like after that, I was just like, no, you can't even be grateful for a gift that we tried to give you and stuff like that. And I was just kind of done with her after that. And like meanwhile, we was like this when school first started and stuff. We was on the same team and everything. She was on my team as well. And um... So, yeah, after that, I was, like, really not rocking with her no more. And um, I started realizing I was putting in more work in the friendship than she was. And most of that stuff, the friendship was mostly me. Like, I, she was real, she was quiet, she was a quiet person, but she knew how to talk, you know what I'm saying? She, like, but I'm just, like, she interacted with people, but not really. I can't really explain it. It's hard to explain. She was kind of interesting. She was interesting. But... Yeah, I can't really just, I can't really describe that girl. She's just interesting to me. And I don't want to say she weird or nothing, but she's just, like, she interesting. And so, yeah, um, yeah, so we, I kind of stopped rocking with her like that. I didn't really talk to her. Like, even though we were shared in the same room, even, it's crazy, because we was in the same room for however long, from August to May, didn't talk like that. We, we weren't rocking, I, we didn't talk like that, barely looked at each other. And I started having problems with her after a while. Well, after I stopped talking to her for a while, like, after that whole gift situation, she ain't never asked me, like, oh, why you stopped talking to me? She ain't never tried to, like, oh, I thought somebody come out. She ain't never tried to, like, be my friend. She never tried to talk to me, none of that. Like, she just went on about her life. And I'm like, okay, we supposed to be friends. And I, like, I stepped back for a minute. You should be like, if you a real friend, you should be like, okay, girl, what's good? Like, what's good? What's going on with you? Like, why you, why you ain't been speaking to me lately? Like, what's going on? Talk to me, right? Like, that's what, that's what real friends do. Cause that's what me and my best friend do. Like, what's, what's good, boo? Like, why you ain't been talking to me? Why you been in my room? What's, you got a problem with me? What the issue is? Let's talk this out. Cause we friends at the end of the day. Ain't nobody going to come between us. Like, stuff like that. Like, that's what type of girl, I'm a ride or die. Like, I'm a ride or die. Like, I don't I don't know. I'm just ride or die. Like I don't play that. I don't. Even, I don't even argue with my best friend. I don't even argue with her because I'm like we. I love you too much. I love you too much to argue with you. I, and I would never want an argument to come in between our friendship and our relationship and stuff like that. Like I'm just that type of person. Like I don't even argue with her. She start getting on my nerve. All right. And I just, I zip it. Like I just cut the conversation off. I walk away. You'll see me later. Like. It's a couple times me and my best friend almost got an argument and I just shut it down. I be like, okay. And I just get quiet, don't say nothing. Because I'm not going to argue with somebody I really care about. She be trying to argue all the time, too. Anyway, but like, back to this story. Yeah, so, um, I miss her, too. Anyway, um, <laughs> I love that girl. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, um, where was I? I don't even remember where I was. But, yeah, so, it just stuff. She started turning lights off on me, and, like, it was like, she was, like, mentally, she just, like, I can't tell what was going on with her mentally, because it was just, like, she wasn't all the way there. And I just, I even went to a couple staff members, because I'm just, like, it's, just love, like, for real, there's something wrong with this girl. It was to the point where, like, I... I feel like if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have graduated because she wasn't even in the classes she was supposed to be in to graduate. She wasn't taking none of those classes and she didn't even know. She didn't even know the classes she was supposed to be in. So I ended up putting her in her right classes so that she can graduate and stuff. And it was just like that bad because I was like, man. So she started after a while, she started like doing stuff like turning out, turning lights off. We had separate lights and she would just turn all at one time. No lie. One time I was doing my hair right. And she just cuts. I guess she was ready to go to bed, so she cut all the lights off. And I'm just standing there, like, I'm like, I know. Okay, I was like, I, I, I was in disbelief. I was like, I know you know that I can't see. I was like, how, how I'm gonna do my hair in in the night, in the dark? Like, I ain't got night vision. Like, I can't see through the night. 
I'm like, and then she just gets in the bed like it was nothing. I had to cut my light all the way back on. She just keeps doing that. She even did it a couple times when my best friend was in the room. I said, I told you. I told you. Like, didn't nobody believe me that this girl was real life crazy. So I started doing petty stuff back. I would do petty stuff back all the time. I would be loud when she trying to sleep. I would bring, I would bring people in. And so, yeah, like, I just was, I was wilding. I was going crazy on that girl for real. Like, I was not messing with her like that. I was like, I couldn't. I couldn't. She was pissing me off for real. And it was just petty stuff back and forth we was doing. I don't know what she, I don't think she was trying to be petty or nothing, but I was. Because I was just like, I'm sick of you. Period. At the end of the day. I was done with that girl. I was just couldn't take it no more. And then, it got to the point where... I swear I almost fought her one day. I, I did. I was so close, but my best friend got to me before I can snatch the hair off her head. Because, I oh, she cut the light off on me when I was trying to do my homework. I know you see me on my bed with my laptop on me typing, doing homework. And you just cut the lights off because you ready to go to bed and we got our separate lights. And I was never rude to her like that. I never turned her lights off until she started pissing me off doing that to me. That's when I started doing it back. So I was like, what's wrong with you? Like, she just up here she went all the way there but that's my story and i'm